up for Lucy. Um, Stan's already forgotten what he had written down in his book, which is the name of Scott Huntsman. Switch that hat around. I know. No, 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 no. no. Hi, hi, guys. It's good. It's a good crowd. I'm, I'm so glad. I, in fact, I think Tu Guan is the best crowd in Beijing, and I'm, I'm, I'm not fucking kidding, because I went, I went to like all the other places. I went over to uh, Panio Shays, where you always got the British guys. Like, what the fuck is this fucking asshole on about? I'm trying to watch my football. And I'm like, uh, and then I went down to uh, Wudalco where you got the fucking American, American frat boys. Like, dude, dude, there's fucking no tail in here, man. We gotta get it. What the fuck are these guys, man? And then I went over to a uh, Toon Bar, which smells like a rape dungeon. If you've been in there, yes. Toon Bar, yeah. But uh, I just wanted to say that. Uh, I, you know, I, like the rest of the foreigners in China, you know, we get a bad rap. China's a bunch of, all the foreigners are a bunch of losers. Like myself, I'm a big, big loser uh, back home in California. I, okay, maybe you're not, but I am, okay. I fit the stereotype. Back home, back home I was so poor. I mean, I, I basically had the same lifestyle. My favorite restaurant, it was eloquently called One Dollar Chinese Food. <laughs> Like some days, some days I would show up there with two dollars. I'd be like, uh, "I'll take some orange goo with the noodles." <laughs> Eating big tonight, uh, and also I think like there's there's more and more foreigners coming to China, and they're like dressed in like suits and ties. They look really nice, and I'm like all slobbed down. Like who is this guy? These guys, I know. And personally, I think why do you come to China to try to act better than everyone else? These assholes. I think personal hygiene. You're wrecking the environment. Think toothbrushing, think of the water you waste and the resources used to make toothpaste. I guess you're a really hygienic crowd, okay. I won't even talk about showering, how much water that saves and, and you know, washing clothes and all that. I'll go ahead and uh, move on to t-shirts. Do you guys? Well, I mean, I, I like t-shirts, and I see a lot of t-shirts in China. I, I think the funniest ones are really inappropriate English on the, on the t-shirt. You see this all the time. It's usually a middle-aged Chinese woman. She's really holding a huge bag and carrying it somewhere, and then she's got a t-shirt that says jailbait. Right there were cock tees. Or then I saw this one girl who had a shirt that said uh, lick dick in 72. And I was like... I, I actually Googled it. That girl was really cool. It's actually a vintage Nixon, anti-Nixon campaign shirt. My God, I'm such an asshole. That girl's so awesome. I want that shirt. Look, Dick in 72. It sounds awesome. But anyway, I, I, I want to, uh, you know, start my own line of t-shirts for these middle-aged Chinese women that are a little more appropriate, like saving for my kid's college, or uh, this haircut is practical, or... <laughs> I heart haggling. I mean, I, I heart Beijing's like dirty enough already. Uh, but I mean, okay, serious stereotyping. I get stereotyped the most because here I'm the minority. I'm, I get stereotyped as a white person for one, they think like white people are always drunk. And the truth is I'm like drunk like 45% of the time, like 50. And they think that like I come over here because I just want to like fuck everything that moves. And the truth is, I'm only interested in the children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's up? <laughs> and finally, that I mean, I get stereotyped that <laughs> that because uh, I'm white, I must speak English. And the truth is, uh, I only speak American. <laughs> It's totally different. So I'll go ahead and stop right there. Okay, bye. You guys are still the past, even though I suck. It's, it's totally me, not you. It's me. Thank you, Scott. Give it up for Scott.